Well, happening now, millions of people are hitting the roads ahead of the holiday. Chopper 13 over traffic. Looking good out there over the Bay Bridge, as you can see right now. The weather is cooperating. Things are clear. And if you are headed that way, remember, it's best to travel early or very late. Yeah, but right now, not a bad yeah, time to travel by the fine. looks of it. Well, the 4th of July is the first holiday in a year and a half without major coronavirus restrictions. People are planning to celebrate. Yeah, they've been ready. WJZ is live. Stetson Miller shows us some of the 4th of July fun that is happening shortly. Hey, Stetson. Hey there, Nicole. Yeah, there are a lot of people who are super psyched for this 4th of July. I mean, just take a look at these chairs set up behind me here, here to watch the Catonsville Parade tomorrow. People tell us some of them have been set up here for almost a month now. That's how psyched people are. And people are especially excited because so many celebrations like this didn't happen last year. People all across central Maryland are getting ready for some big 4th of July celebrations. This parade is over 125 years old, and this is probably one of the most important, biggest parades we've ever had. In Towson, organizers were setting up decorations for their parade, bike rush, and family fun run, all happening on Saturday morning. We're all very excited, and we've seen how happy people are. To have a parade again because it's been two years. In Catonsville, many have been preparing for their parade for weeks and have been setting up chairs along Frederick Road to get the best possible seat to see all the fun. People take it really seriously. Everyone comes out, everyone sets up, and there's tons of cars to throw candy to the kids. Some, like Sage Pelosi, are just excited for the parade to be back in action. It's really exciting this year because we didn't get to do it last year. And you see people you know, and you can bike in it. And in Columbia, Howard County is getting the lakefront ready for their fireworks show happening on Sunday. But they're also offering a lot more. It will have live music with two bands, eight food trucks, a designated vaccine area for people who haven't been vaccinated to get their vaccine, and a 20 minute fireworks show. It's all for perhaps some of the most anticipated 4th of July celebrations after a tough year and a half of the pandemic. And you can see someone behind me right now is staking out their spot for that parade happening tomorrow. You can head to our website, WJZ.com, to find out when all of these parades and fireworks shows are happening. We're live in Catonsville, Stetson Miller for WJZ.